Hi, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and today I want to talk about an interesting product I was unfortunately disappointed with when I bought it. Um, it's called Energy Boost 70 from, uh, what's the website called? Morning Star Minerals. I think it's MS Mineral or msminerals.com. Um, I was looking for radioactive items and I well, let's just say I ended up coming across this item, 100% derived from plant uh, minerals. Apparently it's a dietary supplement. At least that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, I'm going to read off the minerals list since you surely can't read it off the back of this notice. The print's kind of a little weird. But um, I saw it, and for the price, it was only a couple bucks. I'd had to buy myself some of this because I wanted to test it with my Geiger counter. Here's my Geiger counter picking up data like it does every day, which of course goes on my website right from outside my window. There's my window. Yay. And here's my Geiger counter. And my window is open, so you're breathing straight from the uh, outside. And of course, as you can see, my Geiger counter fluctuates continuously. If you move around a lot, it goes up. Anyway, it's pretty sensitive. And it should drop down to about 14, which is where it usually is. But regardless, here's the uh, material. Now here's what it looks like. As you can see, I put it in this bag. It looks sample bag. It sort of makes it look like urine. It's not urine, of course. It's <laughs> it's the uh, morning boost uh, energy boost product. Yeah, energy boost product. Now I was I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what the hell it was. Still haven't figured out what the orange is caused by. I'm guessing something like maybe tannic acid. I'm not 100% sure about that. Now, for legal purposes, I'm not going to say anything other than just to read you the ingredients list, which is perfectly and freely available on their website. I'm not going to draw any conclusions or say anything whatsoever, because you know how companies get touchy about stuff if you say anything. But if I read what's already on their website, it can't hurt anything, can it? You're going to love the ingredients list in this. And by the way, I didn't eat any of it, and I'm not going to eat any of it. <clears throat> per their web page, uh, barium, beryllium, bismuth, boron, bromine, calcium, carbon, uh, cerium, wow, cesium, chloride, chromium, cobalt, copper, dysporium? Erbium, Europium, uh, Fluorine, Gadolinium, Galenium, Germanium, Gold, Hafnium, Holme um, Holmium, never heard of that one, uh, Indium, Iodine, Iridium, Iron, Lithium, Lutetium, never heard of that one, Magnesium, Manganese, Molybdenum, yeah, Molybdenum, Niacin, Nickel, Neo Neobium, uh, osmium, palladium, phosphorus, platinum, potassium, uh, pesodemium, weird, rhenium, rhodium, rubidium, uh, ruth ruthenium, ruthenium, yeah, ruthenium, samarium, selenium, silver, sodium, strontium, sulfur, Tantalum. And here's the interesting one, the reason I ordered it. Thorium. Yes, thorium. Tellurium. Uh, terbium. Thulium. Tin. Titanium. Tungsten. Here's an interesting one. No, not this one. Uh, Yterbium. But no, 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 no. Yttrium. That's an interesting one. Yttrium. I'm sure. Well, I'm wondering what the point of yttrium is. Zinc. Zirconium. And there's a bunch of amino acids in it too, which is probably where the coloring is coming from. But yttrium and thorium, amongst others. I'm curious what the benefit is. I've looked at the site for a while and I haven't figured it out yet. I guess it's just something I haven't been able to figure out yet. Interesting stuff. The Geiger counter unfortunately doesn't read anything off of it. Maybe it's not sensitive enough. I'll try it when I get a uh, my more sensitive Geiger counter. It's got to be able to read something off that thorium if it's in there. And it listed as being an ingredient. It says minerals list and it has it on here like it's an ingredient. 
So if it thorium's an ingre an ingredient, I should be able to detect it with my Geiger counter, much like potassium salt. And by the way, I'm not saying anything. Potassium salt is uh, perfectly normal and sold at the grocery store for human consumption. So this must be too. Hmm. Anyway, I am disappointed. I wanted this to tick more, and it doesn't. Well, not enough anyway. Crap. So, there I am on the webpage. Well, you probably can't show the webpage for legal reasons. Hmm. Anyway, msminerals.com. I would love to see somebody put this up against a scintillator, though, and see how much of that stuff is really in it, because I should be able to detect thorium, unless it's incredibly tiny amounts. Why would it be in there anyway? And yttrium. Yttrium. What's the point of yttrium? Or tellurium. Tellurium is a really odd one to put inside of your food. I wouldn't normally recommend it. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say they must have some reason why they put it in there. <laughs> Anyhow, um, what do you think, Mr. Stormtrooper? No idea? Okay, he never has any idea. By the way, if you're curious, this is not actually Vaseline glass. Notice? Not Vaseline glass. Yeah, I bought this at the grocery store. It's cool because it looks just like Vaseline. You see the sticker. It looks just like Vaseline glass, but it's not. And of course, you all know I have real Vaseline glass. I just like the way it looks, but I don't want a real piece of it sitting beside me. I have the real piece of it locked up somewhere where it's nice and safe. So there you go. That's my little amusement for the day. Bye-bye.